Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create web API project. So this is Visual Studio 2022. Here, when we open it, we will have these options. Just select the option, create new project. And then here in the search box, we need to find this search for web API. And then you will see that on the top, we are going to create web API in C sharp. So just select the template and click on next. Here in this next wizard, you will have to put the project name. Let's say this is first web API project. And then here is the location where you want to create the project. Then click on next. And this will ask some configuration related things. Let it be and then click on create so when we click on the create button it will start creating the project it will take some time to create and render the project so here you can see that it is created in the left hand side so here in the left hand, uh, left hand side we will have the server explorer tools so we are not going to discuss about this in at this time we are just creating a first web api and then later on in the upcoming video we will learn more about web api here we just created it by default we will have the weather forecast controller you can see that in the folder we will have the controller it is having the default web api so just click on first web api in the debug mode so when we click on here it will start the application in the debug mode and if we click on the this option f5 control f5 that is the shortcut of it and then it will open it without debugging so just click on this and let's see what will happen so in this version uh, in 22 2022 we will have uh swagger implemented so what is swagger and what is the benefit of it we'll talk in upcoming videos so let's now the application executed successfully and we can see on the browser that and we can see here is the swagger so here we can see that the first web api what is the project name and here we have weather forecast so this is one one of the controller that is api controller and here we have the method we can see that we have one method get method and that is weather forecast weather forecast and we can see that weather forecast is here now click on down arrow and we can see that what all parameters are required for the api and how we can test it so this is the ui which swagger is providing to test the API whether the API is working correctly or not so now we can have this the button try it out click on it and you will see that execute button so just click on it and you will see that some responses just click and then you can see that there is a response and response body have some data so also we can see the code that is 200 which is saying it is successful response so this is how we can create web api project and using swagger we can test api we'll talk more on web api in upcoming videos that's it from this video thank you for watching